PvP and demo derby. Welcome back to the crew two friends. Today we're going to be going through and talking about absolutely everything that's been included in this update. Everything that's kind of gameplay wise. So I just saw there that was a PvP screen. This straight away we're jumping into the mixed playlist, which is usually mixed, is special currently, which means it is demolition derby. I believe everything but two classes of events doesn't make it into the mixed category. But there's something interesting about uh, PvP is that uh, from what they've said, all cars get maxed out when you jump into PvP, which is a different, interesting take on it. And I I'm wondering how that's going to go, because obviously it makes it a bit more balanced and fair. But I feel like I wish there was a hardcore mode where people could jump in and use their parts they've earned. But we'll talk more about it in the future. We jumped in straight away to the demo derby. And as you can see, it's absolute mayhem. It's incredible. I was excited for it. I'm going to be honest, it's a new type of gameplay. I was interested to see how they would do. I would assume they'd use a, a handling model based on another car. They would use a physics based on another car, but they've totally reworked it. It feels completely different to anything else. I think, if anything, the closest class of vehicle would be a mix of monster truck and probably a mix of uh, the rallycross, an all-wheel drive rallycross car. It's, it's a very, you turn on the spot super well. The damage model, as you can tell, is next level. It's just insane for a, a racing game of this caliber. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. Seeing things fly, I, I played the Destruction Derby games on the PS1. I played one of them. I think it was the original. Maybe it was the, it was the second one. I don't know. I played those games. And that's the last time I played a proper Demolition Derby game. This is perfect. It's so much fun to play. We were playing with a bunch of other people in this session. It's not just uh, randoms on PvP as such. It's in a review kind of set format setting. So uh, everything here works perfectly because obviously we are on their closed server and the server was probably in their building. So likewise, nothing. And it's just, this, this is, it's cool. It's different. It's exciting. It keeps you on edge. It's a battle. You get points for doing a bunch of different things. There's power-ups dotted around the map. Obviously, the idea is to survive. You get taken out, you lose points. And there's a lot of varying maps. This is one of the first ones we tried. There are many, many maps available on this. And obviously, as you can see, there's contraptions spinning and stuff. We've got to avoid to hit them while trying to take out other people. These cars handle like all-wheel drive kind of drift cars when you start to turn them as well uh, on the spot. It's, it's, it's just... It's a totally new experience. I am the type of person that, like, I like new cars being added to the game. I'm never going to say I don't want new cars added to a game. But when it comes to this, I would prefer more game modes like this, considering the fact that it adds a whole new layer of things we can do. These cars have helped, even in free roam, already massively amplifies the amount of things we can do gameplay-wise together with subscribers and so on in just random games. So I, turns out... I was pretty darn good at the demo derby. I don't know how good I'm going to be when it comes to actually playing online because there's always going to be people better than me. But it's such a fun way to not only enjoy the game, but also level up with randomers. And they've taken, they took time to make this PvP. And I've got to say, the time seems to have been spent well. well the way I'm thinking of it is that when, obviously, I said when I want PvP, among a lot of money, a lot of fans, a lot of parts, a lot of yellows there as well, obviously, but the parts don't matter in PvP as such, which again, makes it a little bit strange considering I personally like the idea of having my parts work. Uh, I would like to see, as I say, a hardcore version or maybe it's a voting option of making it hardcore in the lobby so that people can just use their cars as they are, perks and all. And then if you don't want that, you can go to another lobby. I personally think that's the best way to do it. Anywho. So... This is also a new type of event. Obviously, it's an it's an eight, uh, a loop of eight. And everyone straight away the first first section. Obviously, we're, we're driving them pretty well. It's an arcade game. It's not difficult to drive these vehicles, but we're not used to ha to having to drive these on a course. We're, the first one we dropped into a thing of okay, just 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 go for it and just smash into bits. And now we've got a course that. Uh, each lap, obviously, you had the chance of getting smashed up in the middle, but at the same time, the sides there was like spinning parts that could hit us and power-ups that could give you more damage and more health, that type of thing. And it's the idea of you've got to learn to drive this class of car in situations like this. Once again, I think I did pretty darn good. Got over to second place here. Got uh, very easy to just, you know, slip on past people 
as we do. Have a bit of a collision in the middle and absolutely get bombed up the bum. And it, it's just a constant like battle of it, uh, who's going to turn out on top, who's going to end up on top. There were so many times that you can replay the last event to kind of revenge it's called, I believe. We, we, we kept playing the same event over and over and over again because <laughs> it just gets so like, I, am, I can do this. I know I can do this. And the, the tables are just kind of level because of the parts and such. And all the vehicles are basically the same. I, from what I drove, they all handled the same. And that's generally what these cars are like. They're the same, but the shell is different. I didn't try customizing it in any way. I'm sure you can do a livery and such, but it'll be interesting to see what we can do customizations wise. But once again, your boy wins. We do have the icon levels at the top. As you can see, I'm currently level four. More parts if you win first place, obviously. Now, Carnage was one that they told us to vote for because it's a little bit different. I mean, each event we played so far is a little bit different. But this one started off amazingly well. I won most of these. I ain't even bragging. It's just the truth. But you can see the environment has these pop-up things and you can go off the track and around the course a little bit on... I think that's actually the last one, but this one has a lot of good power-ups in the middle. Uh, a lot of pillars and stuff that move up and down to try and get you. What a takedown! That, that felt so good. When you get a takedown like that, it's honestly amazing. And when you hit things like that, it feels it feels very brutally unrewarding, which is... It, <laughs> De-rewarding. De That's what I'm talking about. Uh, when you get taken out, you just lose the points. You don't actually get taken out completely. It would be cool to see like a, a Royale mode almost with that it, it as being an option maybe in the future. But again, this is what I see. I said I, I don't really care for races so much. This to me is like just an insane next level of them adding one of those game modes for PvP. Can you imagine? It's like King, but they've gone next level with it. This one you can drop into the water, which adds a whole new level of gameplay to this. And again, remember, these are usable in free room, so you can make up your own if you want to with your friends. And it's it's just a lot of fun to keep, keep smashing into each other. It's a very tactical game in the way that if you're turning on the spot, you turn quite slowly, so you have to think, you know, I've got, I've got, yeah. So anyway, next up, we're going into the street races because obviously a lot of you want to see the street races. So the street races work exactly the same. You do the votes, uh, most voted, next race, vote, next race, vote. You get the idea. Um, it's it's a fair balance. Everyone here, as you can see, the cars aren't maxed out as they say, but this is 208, okay? If you select 208, you can see all the levels now 280. So you max out your car, which again, to me, is putting me off a little bit of how that works because I've grinded all these levels and I feel like I should be able to use my cars for that. Can I use my perks? Potentially. I don't know. I didn't ask that. I wish I kind of asked about that. Do perks work? Oh, and also uh, traffic is off and um, ghosting is automatically on on races, which again, I personally am in the mind that I don't care. I want to be able to bomb people. I want to be able to have traffic because it adds that extra layer of what street racing to me is. So definitely I would love to see, as I keep saying, a hardcore mode that keeps uh, vis people visibly there. It lets you use your own parts. Uh, traffic is on, I don't know, it uses current time of day opposed to set time of day. You know, just to have that extra, if it's dark, it's dark. Which they also have updated the lighting in the night. I need to show that at some point. You can actually see in the night, which is, it's a more of a like arcade way of doing it, but it's an arcade game and the music they've made for this it's so like oh oh it's intense it's intense the final cutscenes, everything is just really really polished and i i get that that's what they were saying they were like we need to spend a little bit more time on it that's that's the plan so pants again isn't the winner i actually lost that one <laughs> i did pretty decent on most of the races uh, i did record a lot longer than this but you still get a decent amount of parts Unfortunately, you can't see what those parts are, but you'll find out, I imagine, later on. I don't know if they go into your thing or into your, um, to your box. We'll find out. Anyway, next race. I, I tried to get the strip south, but nobody was letting me. I, a lot of the people, obviously, were P, uh, PR kind of things for, for I guess, um, magazines, websites, whatever. And so they hadn't played as much of the game as I have, for example. So they don't know the strip south is the ultimate race. And I would have just decimated everyone. But I did pretty well. I think, as I said, I won most of the events. Uh, so I didn't want to show all of them, which is me, you know, <laughs> dominating every race. But I get, when it gets to the actual PvP, I'm sure I'm not going to do great at all. 
So uh, you're, more you're very likely to get yellow parts pretty much every time you do one of these races. I tried to quickly upgrade my car here. And uh, it, it didn't work anyway. I got the wrong car. I actually got put into the wrong car completely, which isn't exactly what I was aiming to do. But uh, I wanted to see if I actually had any effect on it because, you know, that's what I wanted to do. But no, it doesn't actually have any effect on it. Again, though we don't know if maybe the perk parts have an uh, effect on it, which I'm I'm very curious about. Now, when it comes to the future of the PvP, so right now it has rotating lobbies of everything as one option, and then street racing and hypercars as one. I would love to see more permanent stuff, but obviously if they throw too many split options, it's going to make it so that the menus are much more spread out. People players are much more spread out, but this is one of the new events for the new live stream but i don't want to show the whole thing because i don't want to spoil it so that's not going to be the whole thing they added new events for classes that still exist this is now coming up to the run-up of what have they added this is possibly going to be a new fan favorite this drift event i can't remember what it's called forgive me but it's a big open kind of street drifting thing a lot of open space much more room to make those mistakes and correct those mistakes unless you're me and obviously, I wanted to drive these cars in the free room because you can drive everything in the, in the free room, as you know. You can drive an F1 car in the free room in this game, which is still something that's not been done before. Anywho, so we're, we're driving this along, and I'm like, obviously, I want to test the limits of, and, and, and stuff of this in free room. You can control this like a monster truck in the air, as in the death flips on the roof. The car is very much damaged. I believe they sustain less damage in the free room. Uh, another thing to note is that the nitrous in free room and not free room is very different to the others. It's more of a short burst and more powerful. Uh, it, and it, it's perfect for the type of gameplay that this has. This is the arena where you can basically go to in the free room because it's the crew too. I was like, can you go in in the free room? Of course you can. You get uh, a nice overview in the plane here, uh, which I am going to go to the map incorrectly went to the wrong place i'm going to the map and as you can see it's in the salt flats but they haven't put it like in the middle of the salt flats which is always good because i do like to drag race in the salt flats so it doesn't ruin that for me so if you want to know the area of it it's right in the corner just there and then we have this which is uh the contracts they call them the live contracts and this gets you crew credits it's earned you crew credits which is really nice actually uh, I, I would maybe prefer the option to be, be able to choose between maybe getting parts, money, or crew credits, or just random between the three. Uh, but basically, you can select an ob uh, objective, do the objective, and get a reward for doing so. It's kind of things like 5,470 yards drifting in free roam. It's just little challenges for you to do. I think you can get up to three. You get one a day. You can re-roll it in case you don't like that challenge. It's a pretty open, nice way of just being like, okay... Here's, a, here's an extra thing to do, and I personally really like it. It reminds me of kind of challenges on, on uh, alternate games, other games as well. But there's a whole bunch of stuff in this game that I haven't covered. As I said, there's a lighting fix in here to do with uh, making the game a bit brighter. Um, uh, there's a whole bunch of cars being added, which you'll actually see uh, a little bit later about that. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your favorite thing down below. Are you excited to be playing this? I cannot wait to be joining with you guys and playing it. It's been so much fun having a lot of go of it. I played for a good few hours, but now we're going to play for a whole lot more. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, press.